Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, hello, whoever and wherever you are. It's just the one camera today. I've done some overtime at work, so I've actually got the other two cameras on me. It's just because I don't have the mount for the six that I normally put there, I just thought, screw it, I'll stick with the one. And it's easier to edit as well. So if you're expecting another free camera extravaganza, then I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. However, content as usual. I've come up to this like nice little area again. It's above ground, it's quite high up. I come here every so often. And I came here recently on one of my other videos, but I thought it's just a nice day. It's a little bit chilly, a little bit overcast. Been there before. And uh, every time I come up here, there's always some progress on someone's house. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, easy. Oh, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, my brain today has just been on like 100 miles an hour. Go, go, go. And the main reason for that is I'm trying to cut out sugar and coffee. And I just, I've got to the point where caffeine just doesn't seem to do anything for me anymore, you know? It just, it gets to the point where when you've had so much, it becomes routine almost there. It just, it doesn't give you that kick in the morning anymore and you end up slumping back to where you were. And that's not really fun. Um, that's, that's all I've got on it really. It just, it just slows you down. It doesn't make you aware or it doesn't wake you up as it used to. So, you know, nuts to it sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. So cutting out on the caffeine has been quite miserable at first but also quite fun because once you're off it, it it for me it just took a couple of days once you're off it fine what do you do and uh, off you go with your life really it's just getting up in the morning and uh, finding that motivation finding that positive thinking that just gets you up and go yeah let's do this let's let's go to work let's smash it and work's been quite busy as well recently so that's been a big help in the fact of there's work to do, so just to get on with it, mate. You know, try and get yourself to that frame of mind. Other than that, strawberry fields. That's not a lot of strawberries I'm seeing in there, but carry on. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice, I've got to say. It's quite nice. So if you are in, like, a, a phase where you're having some time off work or if it's really busy, yeah, maybe try jumping off the caffeine for a sec and then when you do need it when you are down in the dumps and you are pretty much dead inside then um have a sip of the the good stuff and you'll be surprised how much of a kick it really does give you once you're off it for a bit you know give it a week give it two weeks give it a month but you're not here for health tips are you you're help you're here for motorcycle videos and i would admit my fingers are absolutely freezing right now. Ooh. Now, when I was at the um, the Birmingham Motorcycle Show, I invested in a pair of gloves, which are supposedly quite good at keeping your hands warm. Now, I've tried them like just walking around and such, and yeah, they it's just an extra layer over your. Do you want to go? You're welcome. It's just an extra layer over your hands and it keeps them warm and nice and tidy. That's fine. Nice and tidy, nice and warm. But, um... I've tried them on underneath these motorcycle gloves and I've got to say, they don't impress me in the slightest. I mean, my hands are freezing at the moment, but this material doesn't do much to help that. Do, 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 do. Now, one thing I have been sort of looking at, and also just kind of, you know, just kind of investigating, I've been having a look at a few videos online, and I've also sort of been recommended snowboarding gloves. Now, you want to try and stay away from all the the nylons, all this, that and the other, try and find some proper material, proper, if you can, like leather, 
inside um, ski gloves because some of those they'll have like a little tab just there on the thumb which will be like a little squidgy little wiper so you can wipe your visor down they're basically designed for cold weather which is great and uh, that's what you need however there is the downside of if you come off the bike are those gloves going to hold up now typically motorcycle gloves are designed to hold up unless you're a half-assed company not naming any names there but um it does it does sort of come back to are they suitable for actually riding on the motorcycle and the, a lot of these snowboarding gloves they're cheaper vastly cheaper so a decent set of motorcycle gloves these i think back in the day cost me about 50 or 60 pounds which is it's all right and the more you go to like the larger brands the the more the price just shoots up because as usual you're just paying for the brand aren't you and It just, ugh. Brands don't owe you a damn thing. And there's, there's, uh, there's something that needs to be said about that. So for example, all my cameras are GoPro. And the reason why I chose GoPro, not because they're expensive, because they're so-called the best or the extravagant, all that sort of stuff, because I believe they do the good job. They do the best job. I've tried one or two other cameras, didn't like them, sent them back, hooray, hurrah. And I just, I end up forking out for uh, the GoPro and the great thing is i record everything in 30 frames a second the seven and the six are now in the stabilization thing the six is very robotic with its stabilization i didn't really quite like it but the seven is much smoother um the session the five session is there's no stabilization on that or if there is i don't really use it because i don't see the need to i do need to look into that and most importantly they, they're just damn good quality for what they are you can drop them a few times you can buy protective screens for them you can buy like little boxes for them and if you go down the proper gopro route then yeah you're going to lose a lot of money very quick but there's a lot of companies out there thankfully that do cheap alternatives to gopro accessories so a lot of people tend to go for that myself included and what I will do actually is raise my visor up because it's getting quite steamy in here. Oh. Breathe that country air in the, the smell of burning logs in the morning. I say morning, it's nearly midday. That says 12 o'clock, but I've not changed the clock on that and I can't be bothered because it means I'll just have to change it again later. I'm not about that. But yeah, brands don't owe you a damn thing. So, GoPro doesn't pay me for these videos. Kawasaki doesn't pay me for riding Jelly Bean. I don't get paid by Icon or whoever to wear their gear, showy to wear their helmets. So, for me, this is all just a hobby, an experience. It also gives me confidence as well because I don't like talking to people. So to be able to talk to myself and talk to you through me, through the camera and such, it's, it's quite nice. Someone's behind me. might think I was taking that corner quite slow but even during that I felt the back tyre sort of slide ever so slightly. I'm not a professional <laughs> in any sense of the word when it comes to riding but I do enjoy a little bit of speed every now and then and that's one of my favourite bends. And chill. But back to the point. Or at least uh, one point of several that I mentioned in my videos anyway. So yeah, I don't get paid to do anything like this. It's all just a hobby. For me, it's a pastime. It's a great time as well. Gets me out on the motorcycle, gets me experience, gives me riding time. And that's all fine, fan dabby dozy. I get to 
yap along to myself and uh, entertain myself. This is good for the mind, it's good for the spirit, whatever you want to bloody call it. And it's just good. It's wholesome goodness for yourself. And if I can take you guys along with the ride with me, then so be it. And then you can watch me do exactly the same and hopefully encourage yourselves to do the same as well. If you guys start off a channel, then yeah, let's go for it. Let's have some of that. Now, I've got a friend, Red Zone Rider. He used to be called Morphine City. He renamed himself, rebranded himself. Again, brands don't owe you shit, but uh, yeah. go give him a, a look, see if you like his stuff. He has recently... I'm going to need to do the flat because my bloody visor is steaming up again. He's recently done a new intro video, which has taken a lot of editing, a lot of time, and my god, it looks good. I mean, it looks proper, proper good compared to my ones, which is just me riding past the camera. Hooray, anyone can do that. And slap some text over the top of it, yeah, simple. And then I've noticed that Sinbad has also done the same thing. He's done um, a decent quality edit, much better than anything that I've tried to do so far. So I'm kind of falling behind, I'm getting left out. I've just got this really simple, really basic intro, and here these two guys are putting out some smashing introductions or like themes for their channel. So I need to step on that. I've got the footage to do it, don't get me wrong. It's just actually getting to it, something a bit more interesting than just here's a clip, here's a clip, here's a clip, here's a clip. So who knows, maybe come the end of winter into spring, maybe summer, I'll do another new intro of me just riding past and uh, we'll figure something out, won't we? So I've got no idea how long I've been rambling on for, but I think, I think, I think I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to wish you the best of weekends. Enjoy your Sunday morning, afternoon, evening, <laughs> whichever one it is. I don't know. But um, yes, there's that. Also in the last video, I opened that up by singing a little bit, <laughs> quote me, singing. So if, if you liked it, good. Let me know. If you didn't like it, good. Let me know. Tell me how bad I am. Crush my hopes and dreams of being a uh, a songwriter <laughs> or a musician of any sort. And uh, yes, happy days. So enjoy your day, enjoy your evening, your weekend, whatever's left of it. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta for now. <laughs>